Vanna from Cheat Nails. If you need to stay frugal with your next manicure. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing my first ever pedicure video. Yes, I have never done a video with my little feetsies. Truth to be told, I'm, I've been kind of self-conscious, so I don't really want to film my little feetsies, but today is the day. And to help me do my pedicure, I'm gonna be using the micro pedi. It's like this roller thing for your feet. I don't know, I've never used one in my life, so this is gonna be fun and interesting. So disclaimer, if you don't like looking at footsies, this is not the video for you because it's gonna all be all about my feet and how I take care of them. Now, I've been kind of bad because I usually trim my toenails um, every so often so they're not too long because I do not like long toenails. I like them to be very short because they kind of bother me when they're long so I always trim them. But I gotta say, I have not gave myself a pedicure in three months. So we got a lot of work to do, so we better get started. Let's go. All right, it is finally time to give myself a pedicure. Why did I wait this long? I don't know. The last pedicure I did, I did like a glitter mani, and as you can see, it's still on there. So we got to go to my first step of this pedicure, and that's removing that old glitter nail polish. I'm going to go ahead and take my nourishing nail polish remover that I get at Walmart, and it is the blue nail polish remover, and I love this nail polish remover. It works really good, and it doesn't really like dry up my nails really bad. It is very nourishing, so I love it. And also, I'm going to grab a cotton claw i almost forgot the name of it there but this awesome little gadget holds your cotton balls you don't get nail polish remover on your you know mani you know because sometimes you gotta like clean your stamping plate or in this case i'm gonna clean the nail old nail polish off my toenails with nail polish remover and i don't want to get the nail polish remover on my nails so yeah i love the cotton claw because it uh, helps me not to get nail polish remover on my already existing you know, Manny. Anyways, let's go ahead and take that uh, nail polish remover and uh, just remove uh, the old glitter polish. All the products that I will be using will be linked down in the description box down below if you would like to check them out. And if you buy from those links that are in the description, I will get a small sh commission um, with no additional cost to you. So thank you if you buy from any of my links down in the description. Alright, after I've thoroughly rubbed all that glitter polish off. I'm gonna go ahead and take my shaver. Now this step, you can totally skip it. You don't even have to do this with your toes, but I'm gonna go ahead and just shave the little hairs that are on my toes because it's just, I don't know, this is my routine. This is something I do. I uh, usually just get my foot a little wet and then I wet the uh, shaver and then I just kind of shave off that the little hair that I have, the little, little hairs I have there. I don't know, I just feel like it gives a like, like like a cleaner look I don't know how to explain it um, but yeah but it's just part of my routine so I'm like showing you my routine so yeah but you totally don't have to do this you can just skip this step but I like to do it just because I don't know cleaner look and then I went ahead and just grabbed some toilet paper and dried my foot so my foot is fully dry now we're gonna move on to using the micro micro petty hopefully I'm saying that name right but anyway the micro petty comes with a little white bag that you can put it in and here it is you can pick what color you want it um, I uh, I picked pink because <laughs> I love pink and I read uh, good reviews with this one I've heard that it works good so uh, yeah, that's why I picked this one. I will have this one linked down in the description box down below if you want to check it out. But I really like the grippiness on the sides. It's it's a really nice one, and this is um, takes two AA batteries. So yeah, I thought that was easy because I got I had two AA batteries lying around. So I like the aspect of uh, it taking some batteries that I actually have. <laughs> you know, sometimes some things take weird batteries I've never even seen. But I'm glad that it takes double A. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the clear thing at the top. That's kind of like a protector. Obviously, you got to uh, remove that before you do anything. And this micro petty comes with two different um, like rollers. A blue one, which is a softer grid, and a black one, which is a harder grid. I'm not going to use a black one because, I mean, I don't really, I don't think I need that rough of a grit. Um, so I'm just gonna take the blue and use it and then it comes with this little um, white brush to like clean it I guess but yeah, I really like how it came with this uh, little white brush because it really comes in handy later I will show you that later though. So I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, pop one of the ends in and there's a little button on the side um, That you kind of pull down trust me. It's really easy You just kind of pull it out and it pops out and then you kind of just 
push it right back in and let go and it locks it in it's actually really cool and really smart now I've already the reason why this blue one kind of looks a little used is my brother wanted to know what it sounded like so I just popped this blue one in and kind of just showed him what it sounded like but I have not used it yet um, so yeah that's why this blue one looked a little used but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and here's what it sounds like As you can see, it, it kind of sounds like something from like a dentistry. You know when you go to the dentist? That's what it reminds me of. I don't know why. But I went ahead and just started uh, lightly doing uh, just going back and forth kind of motions. And then I went ahead and just held my toe because it was kind of, I don't know, I just kind of felt like I needed to hold my toe still for some reason uh, when I was doing it. But like I said before, when I opened it up and my brother wanted to see it, I uh, put one of the blue ends in and I just tried it really quick on my toe like I mentioned before and I noticed that it worked really good so I was really excited to use it for this video because I was like I really need to do a Manny petty because obviously look at my t toenails I really needed it but I just went ahead and just went did it on the end of my foot what do you call this I don't know but it worked really, uh, really well. I was really impressed with this <laughs> little uh, gadget. It was actually removing my skin really well. Now, I've never, ever in my life ever used one of these. Um, so I feel like I probably should have did it a little bit more and my feet would have been uh, softer. Um, just because I probably have a lot of built up calluses. Like, you know, you get calluses on your feet and stuff like that. You know that uh, hard skin that you want to remove? So I feel like um, if I use this thing more, I'll have even softer feet. Um, but yeah, I, uh, have, I had a really good experience using it. It was quite fun. And I gotta say, this thing works really good. Like, look. Look at how much it removed off of my foot. And I'm sorry if this is kind of gross. I'm sorry, but I warned you in the first beginning of this video. I mean, <laughs> this was a Manny petty foot video. But anyways, uh, my toes and my um, foot was really soft. I was really impressed with it. So I went ahead and grabbed the brush it came with, and I went ahead and cleaned it. See what I said with this brush coming in handy? I really like how they added this brush because it cleans it out really good so it doesn't get clogged and, you know, you can keep using it. Or you can take the uh, roller out, just remove it, and then clean it uh like under the roller, it's just great. So here's my foot. I washed my foot after I used the micro petty, and I gotta say, it did remove the dead skin, and my foot is soft. Like I said, I should probably use it a little bit more because I probably do have a lot of built up calluses, but I gotta say, I really enjoyed using the micro petty. I think it worked great. All right, after that is done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to cuticle removing. Now, you need a cuticle pusher you know, to do the whole cuticle thing. So I definitely suggest using a metal cuticle pusher um, for your toes. Now, wood, as in a wood stick, is good if um, you're a beginner because it's a lot softer on your nails and you, of course, um, want to be gentle. But I gotta say, I cannot use a wood stick, or orange wood stick, for my toes um, because my Callus, uh, calluses. <laughs> my cuticles, which is the de which I mean as the dead skin on my toenails, are just too thick. So I have to use a metal cuticle pusher. But like you know, you could be different. You might just want to use an orange wood stick because it is softer on your nails. But for me, I got thick dead skin and stuff. So I need a medical medical. <laughs> I need a metal one. So I went ahead and took my awesome wonderful blue cross cuticle remover that is my favorite cuticle remover because you get like six ounces it's only nine bucks on amazon and have you noticed that cuticle removers have just skyrocketed in price for some reason i don't know but blue Cu blue cross cuticle remover is my favorite cuticle remover it is a liquid but i only need like one to oh, maybe two drops on each of my toes or nails to remove my cuticle, which actually I mean removing the dead skin on my nail bed. You're not actually removing the cuticle, you're just removing the dead skin and you're using the cuticle pusher to push back your cuticle. 
Okay, anyways, so I went ahead and put just one drop on my nails, and then I went ahead and just used my medical keto goal uh, pusher. Now, this is always takes the longest time for me when I'm doing a pedicure, because I feel like I have so much, like, dead skin and cuticle to deal with. So, yeah, this is definitely the longest process of my medi of my petties, um, just because I just have thick cuticles. Anyways, I always use the little pointy end, um to get in there. Also, if you notice, the little cuti the cuticle pusher has a pointy in, and I also use that as well. And also, if there's little strayaways, I just take my nail clipper and just kind of cut those away. And I also trim my nails um, if I have to. But yeah, I do that, and then uh, there we go. So after that is all done, and when I'm all done with the cuticle mother, I go ahead and take some vinegar and my cotton swab, and I go ahead and just clean uh, my nails. Vinegar is a great nail dehydrator. It's a great cleaner, so I really love uh, using it with my nails. But if you watch my channel, you know that, that I love vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my nails with toilet paper now, and I don't even suggest using a toilet paper. Uh, use a like no like lint free cloth, that's the best thing, or a lint free pad, but I don't have any of that, so just use toilet paper. And after that, I'm just gonna use some of my favorite base coat, because I feel like it's such a good base coat. I'll have it linked down in the description box down below if you'd like to check it out. But it is the OPI Natural Nail Base Coat, and I gotta say, this helps my, my uh, pedicures and my manicures last really long. It is a, such a good base coat. Um, it might look pink in the bottle, but it's not pink. It's just clear. When I was reading the reviews on Amazon about this base coat, somebody asked that. They were like, why does the bottle look pink and it looks pink? But it's not actually pink. It's actually clear. It just looks pink in the bottle and the brush is pink. But anyways, anyways, after all that, after my base coat is all dry and we did all those steps, it's finally time to move on to polish, which is for me just the most exciting part. I went ahead and picked bubblegum from the Shanty Pastel collection and I reviewed this collection um, in another video and I'll link it up in the cards if you want to see it. But I loved this jelly pink from that collection so I'm like I gotta put that on my toe nails because I love personally I just love painting my toenails um pinks uh red orange blue those are some of the shades that I always paint my toenails I don't know why I just love them on my toenails one color that I do not paint on my toenails um, are black. I don't know. I just don't really like uh, the color black on my toenails. I just don't really like the look of it. Um, so I usually go for either pink or red or orange. Please let me know down in the comment section down below what you, um, you know, what's your favorite toenail color or colors you like to paint your toenails. But I really uh, like to paint them pink most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and just let that dry, and then I'm going to go in with a second coat, and this was fully opaque in two coats, and I really love this bubblegum polish. It is such a, just a pink, uh, just a pretty pink. Alright, after I've let my bubblegum polish dry, I'm going to go ahead and start thinking about nail art. Um, because I always like to do a little bit of a simple nail art on my toes. Um, I don't know why I just do. So I think I'll just go with some foil. So I went ahead and picked some of this flowery foil because I feel like it will complement the bubblegum pink. Very well. I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna cut off a couple of pieces and I kind of was a little bit selective uh, when I cut it to get some of the flowers even though the flowers look a little big for my little little toes but whatever and then I'm gonna grab some star glue which is nail foil glue this is special glue when you paint it on it looks kind of like a milky white and then it dries clear and it's sticky so of course it uh, works with the foil I will have everything I use linked down in the description box down below so you can check current pricing and stuff like that usually star glue I buy off of eBay but I think Amazon actually has it now so that's exciting okay after the star glue is dried and as you can see it dried clear you don't even know it's there but trust me you're 
my toenail is sticky and then uh, the foil just sticks to the stickiness of the stock glue and there we go it's as easy as that I love foil because it's um, really easy and even if the foil doesn't transfer the first time you could just add a little bit more glue let that completely dry and then uh, re foil so uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty easy and I really like doing it in fact when I was putting these flowers on my toenails they look like an like a a beach bag i had when i was younger <laughs> all right after i foiled my toes i'm gonna grab the greatest top coat i've ever had i'm just kidding no really i just love this top coat like it is so good now, i don't want to be unfair to any other like top coats or anything but I truly can say that this is one of the best top coats that I've ever owned and used. It is super fast drying, it's glossy, and it has a great price point. I think it's only five to six bucks on Amazon, and it's just a great top coat. So I definitely suggest, um, if you need a top coat, here it is. Seshvi fast drying top coat. It's great. And after my top coat is dried, I'm going to go ahead and add some moisturizer to my feet. I'm going to moisturize them. Um, my moisturizer that I always use is olive oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, rub that in and have them moisturize. I don't, know how, I don't even know how to explain this for some reason. I don't know why I don't know how to explain me moisturizing my feet. So yeah, last step of the pedicure is moisturizing. And there we go. My pedicure is all done. I really loved using the micro pedi for the first time. I feel like it made my feet really soft. Um, so yeah, I give that a really good review. And um, I don't know, after I did this pedicure, I was all like, oh, my feet are so pretty. So yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like my uh, toes came out great. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun um, showing you my uh, like pedicure routine. I have never done a uh, pedicure uh, video. So uh, yeah, this was exciting. Let me know what uh, you think. I hope you got value out of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!